version of the game. We had a hard love. They had their chances. They took it. We had our chances. We could not take it. That was the only difference in the game. Okay, uh, Straka has never played in a Premiership before. He's a first division player, and this is his first time playing for a Premier Division club. So definitely, the inexperience will be there. So maybe when he plays uh, four, five matches to six matches, we'll be used to it. So I can say it's an experience that costs him. I don't like complaining about officiating. You were there, you also saw, everybody saw what happened. So I don't like com commenting on officiating. So let's leave it. It was some problem that I identified, but we go and ratified it at the training ground. They didn't lose concentration. We did some substitution. And that causes, it causes, not the entire defenders. We did not sit back. If you were a technical man, you could see we did not sit back. We were playing the way we started. Same thing. We were playing the same thing. But it's only we could not take our chances. If we have taken our chances, we could have scored about three goals or four. We created more chances than they created, but we could not take them. We should have scored an early goal. Eh? Our striker is the goalkeeper. He messed it up. We had another one. So we were not sitting back. We were pushing for the field. It's football. Anything can happen. What I would say, some of the substitutions that we did, some courses. So we will learn a lesson from it. Next time we want to make a substitution, we make sure the person coming is coming to deliver. They beating us at their home ground. They will come. They also get it. The same margin of good. They will receive it over there. I assure you, because yes, you play such a game, you created a lot of chances you couldn't score, and at the end of the day, they score you, then you'll be disappointed. We created, how many chances did they create? We created most, since first half, we were creating the chances, but we couldn't take them. So definitely, I'll be disappointed. Yeah, I think it, it was a, a, a fair reflection of the game, looking at the number of chances that we created. And don't forget that luck comes to the prepared mind. So we we're well prepared. We created a lot of chances. And I think we we're able to stretch them to the dying embers of the game where they became fatigued, they became tired, and therefore couldn't chase those penetrating passes to be able to clear their lines. So if you look at even the second goal, it was virtually a free header, even though they were around because they were tired. So uh, to me, they couldn't distribute their energy positively, but we were able to distribute our energy positively. Throughout the game, and therefore, we were able to score those two goals. I, the tactics were, were, were straight to them. I mean, I mean, the game is sad that you always have to make sure that you build that chemistry between you and your players. So when you stand, it's, it's let them make you know that uh, you are actually part of the game. So that was why most of the time I stood. Not that they were not getting the tactics right. Yeah, the first question, I'm not worried. I mean, football is played in 90 minutes. So once the goal is scored, that is it. A goal can be scored in the first minute and a goal can be scored in the 90th minute. So I'm not worried at all. Once they kick to my game plan, I don't have an issue. Uh, for Agadas coming in, I think uh, we have depth in the team. And when you have depth in the team, you make sure that you rotate the players intelligently so that you don't have similar players playing in on natural positions on the foot, which will make them, which will make it very difficult for them to play. So I don't want to play him out of position. That's why I, I, I keep him on the bench. So it's, it's, it's not a problem at all to him, and it's not a problem at all to the team. I, I, I think it was so good. It was so beautiful. The support was throughout the game, and that's that's the spirit that the Pokemon needs to be able to get to the top as far as Ghana football is concerned. Um, to their fans, I want to tell them that they need to be patient. Uh, if you look at it, under no circumstance we value the ball. Even when we were under pressure, we, we, we kept the ball on the depth. It's a new game model I'm trying to inculcate in the boys. It's a game model I want to develop and live with Kumasi as Antipoto. So it will take time for, for, for the players to be automatic in their performance, they, to be able to play without thinking about it. So all that I'm trying to let the supporters understand is that they should be patient with the technicality, they should be patient with the playing board. And with time, when we 
get into the pool zone, so they even enjoy better for sport. As for pressure, the pressure is everywhere. I mean, who tells you there's no pressure everywhere? Pressure, uh, it, 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 it's not the same, but then pressure is pressure. Um, it's, it's about you, the coach, your ability to manage the pressure, your ability to, to, to listen to uh, off the camera what, what, the, what the followers are saying, what the fans are saying. Remember, they are the stakeholders and the team belongs to them. So it is my ability to, to have a listening ear on the ground to be able to uh, get their, their concerns so that I'll be able to pick those I think will help the team to make the team a better team. But when it comes to pressure, my brother, pressure there's everywhere. Even when you, you coach, coach, coach team, there's pressure there.